And I'm here at the end of Enipec 2013 with Mohamed Sahu Al Sawedi. An incredible four days. You must be exhausted, you're looking happy, but uh, congratulations to you. Everybody I talk to says it's been absolutely wonderful. Well done. Tell me how you feel. I feel great. Uh, the Adivik 2013 has been a big, big success story. Everywhere we go, everywhere, everybody we hear, they're very, very pleased with the conference and exhibition. People, we're sure, will come back to Adivik 2014. We've had a great uh, business conference, started with the minister, started with the CEOs, and it goes on and on. Everywhere we go, even His Excellency the Adnok DG, we're very pleased with the level of attendees, the number of, the number of visitors, and the other, all the other initiatives. Um, so from day one, I know you were very busy, but give me a quick run through from day one. How, how did it start? Well, day one, uh, we started with the His Highness Sheikh Hazza bin Zayed Al Nahyan tour of the facility, and we were glad that he spent over one hour talking to exhibitors, chatting, and looking at the whole uh, Adnik facility. Then we had the minister panel, which started with uh, four ministers, and everybody we talked to have seen this business conference as big, big addition to Adbek. We were honored uh, with 11 of the IOC CEOs to visit His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince, in his palace, and the message was very strong. This has been a success, and they all confirmed they'll come back. Now also you had a lot of ministers, ministers of energy from, I know from the UK, from Angola, from Iraq, Oman, all over the place too. And that again, a great credit to ADIPEC 2013 that they all came. Yeah, our own energy minister, uh, His Excellency Suhail bin Mohammed has been great support to ADIPEC. Seven ministers and another five deputy ministers were all here. And they've been with us throughout the full day and even day two. Now, we also had the tremendous initiative, the ladies in the industry, women in the industry. And I know this is close to your heart, too. Were you very happy with how that turned out? That was a big, big success. Uh, and they were all astonished with the three uh, distinguished guests. Her Excellency Sheikha Lubna uh, bin Khaled al Qasimi, a minister from Norway, and a CEO from Kenya. And they all had big stories to tell how to be future leaders in the oil and gas. Tell me about young Adipik. There were so many kids here. It was just incredible to see everybody. Young Adipik has been a big initiative where we want to attract the young generation to this sector. We started by inviting uh, school students, boys and girls, to our facilities and to the site so that they'll see it in reality. And then we have a full program here sponsored by many of our partners where first we tell them the history of Abu Dhabi oil and gas and then there have been a lot of interactive games with a big tour within the exhibition and we hope we'll see them as future leaders. Now just as you close off EDIPEC 2013, you'll probably be starting EDIPEC 2014. What can we have to look forward to? First of all, I'd like to thank all the exhibitors and the support I had from ADNUC leadership team. I had a strong executive uh, steering committee that supported me and an A team around me from people uh, from the ADNUC group who supported me. And 2014 preparation will start today and I look forward to support the, the new team looking after 2014.